thanks to the plenty of showcase videos on the internet, there has been a lot of discussion and various opinions about how strong and broken Harmony Trailblazer is. Some even claim that they are much more worth it than Robin. But is that true? In what aspects can it be considered an extremely powerful supporter unit? Is it from the skills, traces, or ultimate? Don't worry, in this video I will discuss several topics starting from kit explanations, base add-ons, and a bit of calculation. And also, their kit can be said to be quite easy to understand. So, are they really broken or just overrated? Let's find out. Since Harmony Trailblazer's basic attack is not particularly special, so I won't discuss it. Let's move straight to discussing their skills and ultimate. Trailblazer will throw their hat into the air and attack enemies randomly with an additional 4 attacks, so the total hit you get is 5 hits. The type of this skill is Bounce and it bears similarities to the skills of Asta and Sampo. Now, the special and unique ability of Trailblazer lies in their ultimate. By the way, if you notice the dance they perform with Clocky in the White Knight music video, it turns out to be the animation of their ultimate. Anyways, after using this ability, they will apply the backup dancer effect to all allies. This effect lasts for 3 turns, and its duration will decrease with each of Trailblazer's turn. So, this is similar to Run Maze skill for example. If each ally who has this backup dancer effects attacks enemies who are in a broken state, then the attacker, whoever it may be, will deal 100% break damage they possess, supported by the toughness reducing damage they do at that moment. If you notice, the mechanism of break damage by our main character is quite different. As we all know, break damage normally depends on the enemy's max toughness. The greater the max toughness, the greater the break damage that will occur. But for Harmony Trailblazer, this is different. The break damage that your ally will deal with this backup dancer effect does not depend on max toughness, but rather on the toughness reducing damage from the type of attack you unleash. Here are some notes from a reliable informant, where he explains the formula for calculating the mechanism of Trailblazer's ultimate. The toughness damage is revert to S1 unit, and the base break damage is only calculated from the character's level. Let's take Boot Hill for example, who has a 300% break effect. Assuming he has 3 stacks, the toughness damage from his enhanced basic attack is 60, followed by 30 for each bullet stack. So in total, he has a toughness reducing damage of 5 units. Then, if this input into the formula, the additional break damage he will deal thanks to this ultimate is 75,000. But this doesn't include additional damage boost from Trailblazer's A2 trace, resistance penetration from Ruan Mei, the enemy's defense, and the damage vulnerability from Boot Hill's own skill. Can Ruan Mei's weakness break efficiency contribute to these calculations? Toughness damage is how much your attack depletes the enemy's bar, while the weakness break efficiency helps to make this process faster. So I think, yes, it can have an impact. Previously, Boothill only had a toughness damage of 5 units. But with Ranmei's skill, it can reach to 7.5 units. I hope you can understand this explanation. For their talent, every team that successfully performs a weakness break on the enemy, Trailblazer will restore 10 energy. This will be insane in pure fiction mode. And yes, that's it for the talent explanation. As I said earlier, the Harmony Trailblazer's kit is quite simple to understand, so let's discuss their traces. After reading their A2 for the first time, I was a bit confused with the wording, but this is how I understand it. Let's say if the first wave starts with 5 enemies, it means the team's break damage during their ultimate will increase by 30%. However, if there are fewer than 5 enemies, the ultimate's break damage will then get an additional increase by 10%. This means if you are facing a single elite enemy, that enemy will be in danger because now your team's break damage has increased by 70%. The same goes for bosses. If their A2 trace is indeed like this, it's kind of broken to me. Next is their A4. Harmony Trailblazer's skill will have a total of 5 attacks, and the first attack's toughness reduction will increase by 100%. I think this is similar to getting a weakness break efficiency buff, and with Run May, the first toughness reduction attack from Trailblazer's help will increase by 150%. This is excellent for single target situations. Since it's not mentioned for the first skill use, it means this effect applies every time they use this skill, which is nice. Then A6 is also important. Every time an ally successfully performs a weakness break, their action will be delayed by 30%. 
This helps prolong the enemy's duration in a weakness broken state so your team can continuously perform damage breaks on them. The technique is quite simple. After activation, all team members will receive an additional 30% break effect for 2 turns. Okay then, done with their kit and let's discuss their Eidolon style. The first Eidolon is where Trailblazer restores heal points when using their skill for the first time. This could be nice but doesn't have a very significant impact. The second Eidolon sounds good because this way, Trailblazer will use their ultimate faster, or even have a 100% uptime. Their third and fifth Eidolons don't have much to be discussed, so let's move on to the fourth one. This Eidolon will help increase the team's break damage, because Trailblazer will provide a 15% plus 30% break effect to them, except for themselves. So if your Trailblazer has a break effect of 150%, it means your team will receive an additional break effect of 52.5%, which is really really nice. Then the last Eidolon is also quite important. Their skill now gains an additional 2 hits. Now the bounce attacks that can be performed are up to 7 hits, which means their contribution to breaking enemy toughness and performing damage breaks during the ultimate duration will be even greater. So which Eidolon is the most important for Harmony Trailblazer? Actually, there's no need to worry about this, because eventually we will have all their full Eidolons. But in my opinion, the most crucial and impactful one is Eidolon 4. This can greatly assist in building your break DPS easily because the additional contribution of their break effect is significant. And even the fixed value alone provides 30%, whereas Run May only provides 20%. So this Eidolon is a huge win for DPS breakers like Boot Hill, Shui, and even Sam whenever she's released. Now let's see how much influence the backup dancer effect will have on our DPS. Let's do a little calculation. We will use a team like this as an example. Let's assume the enemy is already in a weakness broken state, since Boot Hill's talent and Trailblazer's ultimate will only activate if the enemy is in this state. Boot Hill is at E0 and S0, and let's just ignore his attack and critical stats because we will only be calculating the break damage. The enemy is Argenti with a toughness of 480, so Boot Hill's talent break damage can reach 188,000, including the enemy's defense, Ruan Mei's ultimate, and Galagher's besotted. Don't worry, this doesn't include Trailblazer's break damage yet. Using the previously mentioned formula and a break effect of 300%, the toughness damage which was previously only 5 units now becomes 7.5 units, thanks to Ruan Mei's weakness break efficiency resulting in a damage of 98,000. Are we done yet? Of course not. Assuming Argenti is alone on the battlefield, this means the damage break will be increased by 70%, reaching 158,000. Yep, this is not just overrated, it's just beyond broken to me. With this, the total damage that Boot Hill deals is 346,000. What about others, like Ruan Mei, Gallagher, they can deal damage too, right? Here's the potential damage they can deal using the same method as Boot Hills. Are there any alternative DPS besides Boot Hill? Of course, there are. DPS characters like Shuei would also be suitable with Harmony Trailblazer, considering she scales with Break Effect as well. Sam could also work, if the rumors are true that she scales with Break Effect. Alternatively, Trailblazer themselves could even be used as DPS Breaker, especially if the enemy has imaginary weakness. Silverwolf and Sushang are also very possible options. Additionally, Sushang can gain an extra turn when using her ultimate that lets her contribute another more break damage. And her talent grants her a 20% advance forward if there's an enemy in a weakness broken state. Besides that, Topaz is low-key a suitable candidate for a DPS breaker because her element is fire which deals significant damage if you manage to break the enemy's toughness. Moreover, her attack frequency is quite high considering Nambi has its own turns. So Harmony Trailblazer is already validly broken, and the good news is they will definitely be a free 5-star character, complete with their full Eidolons. Additionally, their 4th Eidolon greatly facilitates players in building characters that require break effect to perform really well. Trailblazer is also a unit that's very effective at chipping away at enemy toughness, especially in single target situations. This is due to their 6th Eidolon, which provides a total of 7 hits. Their ultimate duration is also quite long, lasting for 3 turns. Moreover, with the backup dancer effect, now all units, including sustain and buffer units, have the opportunity to contribute to damage as well. Their kit also opens up opportunities for the emergence of new meta, 
namely break DPS in the upcoming patches. However, one of the issues they have is that not all DPS types function well with them. Only a few candidates that I mentioned earlier. To truly benefit from Backup Dancer, your units must be built with a significant amount of break effect to generate powerful damage as well. This might be a bit challenging for some DPS units other than Boot Hill or Shuei. Additionally, to activate the ultimate effect, players must quickly break the enemy's toughness, where one may's role would be immensely helpful. However, if one may is unavailable, it might be a bit challenging for your DPS to make the enemy enter the weakness broken state. Trailblazer is indeed a unit that can quickly chip away at the toughness bar, but only if the enemy has imaginary weakness, right? So are they worth building? I believe so. Especially if you enjoy gameplay focused on break damage, and if you are tired of DPS types relying on critical hits and dots. We also don't know what kind of units Hoyo will release in the future. It's possible that there will be more DPS units prioritizing break effect as their main focus. So what do you think of this latest variation of Trailblazer? Are they broken? Are they even better than Robin? Feel free to leave your comments. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe to this channel to help me grow. I will see humans in the next video.